Welcome to Vichy Firm Channels. Today's video is a little bit different from the ones I've been doing during the past. Since I want you to get to know me a little bit better at a more personal level. Also, I've had a lot of requests to do more sewing tutorials. So I thought this is a great opportunity for me to give you a little tour of my workspace. So I would call it a sewing room, craft room or video production room. It is my happiest place in the house. This is where I find my inner self. So let's get started. Let's get started with this main table. So this is like the heart of the room. So this is the main station. This is where I do all of my pattern making, cutting, human-sized clothes as well as dolls clothes. This spot is exactly where I do and video all of my DIY. So I have everything laid out on the table and um, I have my lights right here and uh, the camera is right here. So this is where I stand and do all my DIY. Moving to this side of the table. So I just have my cutting board right here and here are just the stuff that I need right away when I do my work. So just pen and pencil. Um, pins, clips, just a little junk area and I put everything in a tray so everything is well organized or so I need something right away, I know where to get them. Beside the tray are the clear boxes that I use for bedroom setups. When I do a room setup, I have to accumulate everything for that room. So for example, if this is an owl bedroom that I do set up, I have to get a lot of different kind of fabric and then stuff that I see around, um, stuff that I get from the dollar store, I found here and there, I would put everything together into this box until I find that I, I have enough stuff to uh, do a setup for that room and then that's when I start sewing, making beddings and making DIY and accessories. So yeah, that's an owl. As you can see here, like this box right here, this is like a fun summer fruity um, kind of theme. So I have the flamingo, beach, items, watermelons, a fruity kind of bedroom, fun summer theme. And I have everything in here. So underneath the tabletop here, I have a nine cube shelf. And I like to keep everything in the plastic box so I can see everything clearly. I have the cutout belt, a lot of trims, there's some trims and um, Velcro. And there's a lot of projects that was going on. So when, after I do the cutting, um, I have to sew. So in between projects, like my sewing projects. And um, so basically there's a lot of accessories. On this side, I have the storage unit where I like to keep everything hidden. So those are the artificial flowers, Halloween stuff for American Girl doll, the trims for my costumes. And on the other side, just Christmas card and random stuff. Over here, I have more fabrics. And then more fabrics and lace on the other side. So I have paddings, um, curtain accessories, and then I have stuffings and beads. And I have rolls of contact papers. So I keep them in those buckets or the trash cans. And on the far side, these are the nine cubes unit again, and I use it as a table's a base and. On this side, it's just, just random stuff. So in that box, I just put a lot of wire stuff, so like hot glue gun, wire, um, an extension cord, and a charger. Got my iron there. Different craft materials and beads. And then over there, I have my toolbox. So whatever I need to do, whenever I need to do renovation for the dollhouse or building some new units, those are my tool. Moving around to the other side, I have another unit from Ikea and there's a lot of drawers. So with this top drawer, I have um, Be Chic Forever um, cards. So I use them to hold the hair clips and then there are different kind of tapes. 
masking tape, clear tape. At the bottom compartments, I have a lot of different wooden craft stuff that I use to do DIY, especially for American Girl Dolls chairs, table. And then over here, again, there's more craft stuff, um, plastic and just random stuff that I throw in there. Over here I have American Girl Dolls wigs and um, more notions. Those are bonings for corsets. And then I have, this is for um, where I store the foam sheets. And there's another messy drawer with full of yarns. Oops. Just more stuff for craft. You can never get enough of stuff for craft. So I store different kind of notions again. That's the notcher for pattern making. Hemp, jute. And then again for more for DIY and craft stuff for our dolls. Just the same as the other compartment. Here I have the New Testament, the Bible. My sister gave me this box with full of pearl necklaces that she doesn't want to wear anymore, so I just put them there in case I need them for crafting. So that's our central workstation. Now let's move towards my right hand side and I'm going to walk around um, the room uh, counterclockwise. So let's start with the ribbon collection. I like to keep everything displayed so that I know what I have so I don't have to overbuy stuff and um, since I have so many different things so I, I just prefer to display everything and these ribbons are placed on the photo ledges that I got from Ikea and they work out so well and I just love the look of it the whole design and the display so I just classified the ribbon collection in different color groups so let's have white silver pink red yellow and then um, purple blue and then the darker shades moving towards my left hand side again i'd like to keep everything on display in the clear containers so i have all different kinds of trims notions um craft and accessories as you see i have frogs pom-poms tassels i have those pom-poms in different colors and different sizes, pre-made fabric rosettes, um, bows, and then sequins, beads, elastic, hot glue sticks, popsicle sticks, and then I have current accessories um different kind of uh, closures and then have headbands human size and um, doll size as well as um, belt cutouts in different sizes different colors and ribbons zippers moving towards my left hand side i have this hook where i hang a lot of um, leftover ribbons as well as different kind of trims or lace or zippers the longer zippers um, just because if I put everything in rolls, it's going to take a lot of space and this way I can save some space and I can see what I have um, makes it work out really well. And then as you can see there is a door. It is actually a walk-in closet but I use it for so many things to store and it's quite messy so let's take a look. So on this cork board up here, I used to hang all of the wall arts that I've done for um, our room setup videos. So I prefer to display everything again. And then at the top, I have a lot of doll boxes. And going down on those um, Racks and I have a lot of uh, costumes, which photography and sage costumes that I've made throughout the years, and I just don't have space, so I just prefer to put everything in here. And then I have foam boards. Actually, at the bottom shelves, I do have a lot of fabric and more craft boxes, and they're quite messy, so I'm just too embarrassed to show you. Then I have two IKEA carts here. I use them to store 
different art mediums. So I have fabric paint oils that I use oil on canvas, uh, markers, pastels, as well as crayons and fabric paint. I have all of different tools for art, um, from tie dyes to ties and spray paints and all of the different mediums that I have here. Above the cards, I have three ledges. Again, I like to display all of the home accessories for American Girl dolls so that uh, it's easier for me to find things when I do room setup. So I have, I just showcase a lot of different things that I have there. And I do have a lot of other things in boxes, but the most common ones, I just prefer to put everything up there. Moving towards my left hand side, this is the Besta unit um, from Ikea again. So I use this for to, for shelving to organize um, everything. And at the top, those are actually headband organi organizers, but I don't have any more headband. The right hand side just display that's supposed to be Mother Mary that's made out of, carved out of wood. And then on my left hand side, I have um, greeting cards, boxes, sewing machine, photo of Gracie when she was a baby and this is my favorite compartment where I have my bee collection I just love to organize little things and as you can see I have them in all of the identical containers and in all the clear containers so I know what I have there going down I have these drawers that I got from the dollar store Dollarama and again, everything is organized and labeled. And then I have the leftover ribbon in the jar. So um, just in case I need a tiny bit of ribbon, I can use them so I don't have to waste them. And as you can see on this side, like I have different notions like snaps. And then fresher foot. Safety pins, sewing machine needles, spare buttons, and then going down this compartment I use them for uh, to display fabric. So these are small pieces of fabric for American Girl doll dresses and I have them in boxes. At the bottom I have more fabric which is um, Baker yardage and just random stuff that I just show up in there. On this side, I have my collection of felt pieces in different colors. Moving down to the bottom shelf, I have the big kick machine, craft paper, and then paper cutter. Just want to excuse me for the mess. I haven't had time to organize. Moving towards my left hand side again, um, there are different shelves for me to display um, little containers of uh, sand beads and sequins and just a tiny uh, notions. Moving to the left side of the wall, I have everything display on the pegboards with those hooks and um, I just love to display everything. I feel like I'm in an, um, a craft store so I have my collections of rhinestones in different colors, different sizes, and then different kind of stickers as well as trims. And then on this side of the pegboards, I have my um, thread collection spools that are hung on those little hooks. So I'll have my scissors. Here is an example of something that I do make. Uh, head, um, there are hair clips, so just hair accessories. So I sell them sometimes just to raise money for charity. And this is the part that a lot of people are waiting for. These are my patterns, the patterns that I develop myself. And I just can't wait to start the sewing series with you guys. I will share my patterns. box right here, I have all of the uh, doll clothes that have done the cutting but haven't had time to sew. And that box is for leather tools for me to do um, American Girl doll beds. And there's more fabric and accessories, more fabric boxes. 
This is a hemming machine, or you call it a blind stitch machine. So I used to do draperies, and now I don't do it anymore. So I don't get a lot of use out of it. And this is a domestic serger, and I love it. It was from my brother, and he gave it to me, and um, it worked so well. And I guess that's all I need. Down here is a load of uh, American Girl doll shoes and clothes that I just shove everything in there after uh, I do a room setup and I haven't had time to put them on hangers or organize them. This little storage unit is from Ikea and I just use them um, for different bobbins, things that I need right away for a, the sewing machine and that's actually Velcro for American Girl doll. And I also have those tiny irons and underneath I have Huge spools of surging threads in black and white color. Over here, this is dear to me. So this sewing machine has been around with our family for over 30 years. My uncle bought it from my sister and she passed it on to me. So it's been around with me since high school. And then I entered university for fashion design. I took it along with me and we've been moving for 15 times and I bought it with me everywhere I go and um, I didn't want to let it go it's just there's so many memories and it's such a sentimental piece it's so dear to me that um, I have it with me all the time so even though it's noisy it moves around when I sew but still I want to keep it for a while this is a container where I throw all the pins and um, the pressure foot, the sewing parts right there. Moving towards my left hand side again, I have uh, different tape measures and ruler. This body form is not a professional mannequin, but I actually use it because um, its measurements is the same as my body. Um, even though I don't have that hourglass figure, but basically um, our me measurements are pretty similar. So. I only use it to make my own clothes and this is a space where a lot of people are curious about this is where I film the videos and this is where I do room setup so I would have different um, background wall colors and at the bottom I have more beds and more furniture I do have more furniture behind these doors as well please excuse me for this messy space behind these doors okay so over here we have more doll furniture that I use for doll room setup. As you can see, there's a lot of furniture, it's not just in this area. And then this is where I store um, our American Girl doll clothes. So I, I have them on a rolling rack and in those boxes. So when my kids play with them, they roll the rack outside to the playroom. And um, on this shelf, I have I do have more furnitures as well, and this is actually a rolled out. So I, I install the wheels at the bottom, so when I do roll a loop setup, I I can wheel them out. So this is a view from the door that I just opened. And this is a different view from the door of the walk-in closet. So right beside this filming station, I have another closet where I used to organize all of um, the American Girl doll stuff. And this is a door to it. I have done a video on it before, but I've changed it slightly a bit. Um, so I've moved all of the clothes out of this closet and then at the top I have some doll boxes as well as uh, mattresses and pillows and then down here I keep all of the American Girl dolls safe in here and if my kids need to play with certain kind of doll they'll pull out one or couple and they'll play with them but normally I just I prefer them to keep them all in here and then I just keep all of the hair accessories in the same spot as well as the headbands and sunglasses and glasses on the other side
So down here I have the uh, drawer system where I organize all of the dolls accessories. And I love it how I have everything labeled and then over here I have all dolls bags and shoes, travel stuff, pajamas. Now I do need more space for the dolls hats and, and hair accessories and those boxes again there are more more of the wall arts and accessories for doll room setup. So this is another view from that closet where I organize the doll stuff. So this is it guys. I can't wait to start the sewing series with you and I hope that you find inspiration in building your or setting up your sewing room studio or craft room. And if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll be more than happy to answer to all of your questions. And thank you again for stopping by and spending your time with me. Please give this video a good thumbs up. And for the new people, please press the subscribe button. And I shall see you soon. Bye!